What made you quit a job on the spot? I had a very stressful job and was expected to answer slack messages from my boss at any time, or I would be fired. He was in a different time zone so often I would be woken up at 3am being yelled at to do something. One day in the office, he was talking sh about me on slack and accidentally posted it to a channel I was in. I was killing myself for this guy and he didn't even appreciate it. I packed up and left. Best thing I've ever done. Worked at a restaurant as a server. We just catered a large wedding reception. The owner's wife was chatting with the wedding party all night and occasionally getting the drinks. At the end of the night she said she's taking her share of the tips since she helped so much. I say fine even though that's illegal in our state. An hour and a half after the party ends the restaurant is still a mess and the owner's wife is just standing around talking while I was supposed to clean up. It was almost midnight and I'd worked my other job earlier that day. I walked out without saying a word. They ended up giving me all of my tips on my last check. I had a boss scream this is a dictatorship and I'm the dictator in a meeting while slamming his fist on the desk. I got blamed for something that wasn't my fault. Was in an argument with our VP or marketing because I had the audacity to suggest a solution that would have avoided our problem instead of accepting fault for something I didn't do. He told me he doesn't pay me to think. So that was my last day. I am a physician assistant and took a job at an urgent care. After working there for about a month I noticed some irregularities. Such as some medications being expired and sometimes a lack of supplies. I wrote that off as the office manager not being as astute as she should have been and brought it up to the doctor who owned the place. He said he would talk to her and straighten it out. Then one of the medical assistants came to me and said you know this has been going on forever. Right? She then said that things would never change and to get used to it because the expired medications had been on the shelf for months and they were told to never throw them out. She then also told me that the autoclave, the machine that sterilizes instruments, was broken and all they did was wash the instruments in soap and water and put them in the autoclave anyway to get them as clean as possible. That was the end of that. I made out a formal complaint to the state medical board and never showed up again. The state actually came in the very next day and raided the place. They shut him down immediately. They found so many things wrong that not only did they keep the place out of business, they suspended his license. He was also prosecuted on federal charges because he was running a scam for truck driver physical exams. Not me but a middle aged tradesman where I work. I work underground and it isn't for everybody. Terrible environment and whatnot. This particular individual starting working and after a few weeks decided that it wasn't for him. Bad conditions and hostile supervisor. He approached the boss at the morning meeting and told him that he wasn't going underground and that he was quitting. The boss told him that he had to give him two weeks notice and without missing a beat the guy replied. For the next two weeks you're gonna notice that I'm not here. Turned around. Hacked his shin left. Was never heard from again. Had a job about 10 years ago doing tech support for an ISP for a week. The pay was minimum wage bonuses you earned for selling people stuff. And by stuff I mean terrible, overpriced services that you can get online for free. I was still in the phase of training where I had a supervisor listening in on my calls and after a call. He told me I should have paused to try and sell him some shtiantivorous service before I fixed his problem. Handed in my headset right there. Felt so skeevy when people call you for help and you have to turn into a telemarketer. Getting reprimanded for not pushing a patient into getting a dental procedure he didn't need or want. I worked at McDonald's when I was 16. We used to get a free McDouble or hot and spicy with a small fries and drink for our lunch break. One day when I went on break the franchise owner was there and when he noticed I asked for cheese on the hot and spicy he attempted to make me pay for the whole meal because cheese wasn't free. I thought he was joking so I laughed and started walking towards the break room until he yelled at me not to walk away from him in front of customers and my co-workers. I couldn't believe it. This grown a successful businessman was hounding at 16 year old for a slice of cheese. Told him I wasn't gonna pay. Put the food down and walked out. They tried calling me to come to work that weekend I told them no thanks and never went back. I worked for T-Mobile store. Authorized reseller. Not an actual dealer. One week. I had an amazing week. Sold 55 phones. Brand new activations on a business account with 55 high-end phones at that time. When I got my next check, they said my paperwork was not in order and thus they couldn't pay me. As a side note, 
They always told us to make copies of all paperwork in case this happened so you can show it to the manager and get it resolved within a day. I went over my backup paperwork with my boss. He said everything looked to be in order and he would have the office cut me a check. I went to the office and they told me it was still not in order. I immediately gave them my stalky and quit on the spot. I did go through collections and they did settle before I took them to court. The company did go out of business after a few years because they tried that with many other employees and eventually lead to an investigation by the government, according to an old co-worker I bumped in two years later. I worked for a placement agency at a manufacturing facility. I had worked 7 of my 8 hour day when one of the supervisors came by to ask anyone on the crew I was on if they would stay for another 4 hours. We all looked at each other and politely declined. They came back one more time to ask and again. We declined. Then they came back and demanded that one of us stay behind for the 4 hour shift or all of us were going to be written up for attendance. This pissed everyone off but because we were work placement instead of employees, we were unsure who to talk to. Some of the other crew told the supervisor they can't because they have to pick up their kids, etc. When the supervisor left, the crew had multiple people saying they can't get written up again or they would lose their job. I had scheduled a dinner with my in-laws so I called the husband and told him the situation and that I would stay. Told the crew, I'll stay don't worry, told the supervisor. Got put on another crew that had work for one hour but was required to stay for the full four hours. Next day, I called the main office and explained the situation. They said they had a representative on site due to this manufacturer being such a large client. Called the on site representative and explained the situation. Was told they have a lot of attendance issues. Again, explained I had never had attendance issues and everyone on my crew was threatened with being written up for not staying 4 hours after their scheduled shift. On site representative still defended the actions of the supervisor and threw attitude at me. Fine. I don't need you I quit. And that's the story of how I learned about my workers rights and workplace harassment. Walked into the interview. Everything went well. Accepted the job offer. Went to the front desk to do the paperwork and noticed that the contract had a different pay amount. And that I would be interning for the first month for $100 a week. I asked first about the amount difference was told oh, this the standard contract, it just hasn't been updated for your specific offer, I told them they'd need to edit and initial the changes before I would sign, oh that's not how things work here, I thanked them for their time and left without signing anything, they called me back on the day I was supposed to have started asking where I was, I told them because didn't sign the contract, I was never an employee oh boy that was a fun call, I was getting married, I had a temp job, and told them on my first day that I needed a weekend off in a couple of months for my wedding. I reminded them every couple of weeks, had it on the calendar, and even reminded them that Monday, that weekend came, and I was on the schedule. I told my boss that I needed it off for my wedding, and she said, you're just a kid, can't you move it, we really need the parts. Admittedly, I was 21 marrying my 19 year old girlfriend, but yeah, I laughed at her and left. We were scheduled Saturday and Sunday, to attendance points and you're fired, so I assumed that I'd be job hunting on Monday after my wedding. I went to another temp agency on Monday and had a job lined up for Monday evening. On Tuesday, the temp job called and asked if I was coming back. I told that person, the temp agency lady, what they'd done to me. She was upset that they'd done that, tried to get me to go back, but I liked the new job and stayed there. Once as a teenager at a new job I got my hand smacked by the owner the first day because I was writing with my left hand. Walked out. Being hired to sell cars. Then in the middle of training I get pulled aside and told I'm being moved to lot attendant. That position paid minimum wage and I didn't even get a chance to be on the sales floor. Left and never went back. I was in my mid-twenties at the time and was trying to find a possible career. Didn't have time for that bullsh bait and switch. I worked at Walmart for a short time. I worked as hard as I possibly could to unload their pallets of merchandise. I always thought I was so damn fast. I studied the process and I believed I perfected it. Every single day my manager came up to me and told me I needed to be faster. So I did, and the fast pace made me lose a little focus, causing me to break a finger. 
I let management know that I might be a little slower due to my injury and they straight up told me we won't tolerate any laziness and wrote me up when I didn't meet their ridiculous standards. So I went home after my shift, and never returned, never called, never formally quit, I just never came back. F Walmart. When I was 16, I was a busboy off the books, made $250 a week working 35 hours a week because they paid per day as opposed to per hour. Manager comes to me and says they're restructuring how the pay scale is and said he wanted me to work less days, same amount of hours but for half the pay. I made him repeat to me his plan and once he confirmed it I said give me money for the week because I'm leaving. I worked for an attorney. I was 7 months pregnant. I was supposed to be a secretary but instead I was constantly being sent out as a process server. In July, at the end of my 3 months, August, I was supposed to get a raise and she said that she couldn't give me a raise. The day she said that, I left at lunch and never went back. She was an awful person and the guy I replaced told me that he felt sorry for me on my first day as he was leaving. I should have left that day. I got mugged on a delivery for Domino's, and came back to the shop crying and panicked. Had my phone, wallet, and pizza taken. Told my manager what happened. Anon, are you hurt? No, but I lost my phone and wallet. I need to call the police no time for that. Here's your next delivery. It was like two blocks from where I was just mugged. I just went home. The police never really did much to get my phone and wallet back. Not like they could. I was working for a financial company in Sokol for about a month at the time. It was a little stuffy, but otherwise okay. Until my manager came over asked why I took so long in the bathroom. Literally, 5 minutes to take a dump. He mentioned something about having to count it as a break and me being more careful in the future or something. I laughed, handed him my badge and left. Worked for a privately owned bakery for exactly one week. The owner's son comes in. Walks past the counter and into the bathroom. He comes out a few minutes later without acknowledging me or my co-worker. Gets into his car and drives away. We both looked at each other then opened the door only to find this guy literally shawl over the toilet seat and the toilet paper holder. I called the owner. Told her what happened and she said to deal with it. So I asked my co-worker if she wanted to clean it up because I wasn't going to. She declined and I told her I was walking out. She did as well. We locked up the store and told the owner we quit but would reconsider staying if her son came back to clean up his own mess. She yelled and berated us for 20 seconds before I said goodbye and hung up. After working at a company for 5 years with a set schedule having weekends off. We got a new supervisor that told me no one gets set schedules here and told me I'd have no weekend day and they would be split. Worked as a cashier in a local shop. One night two guys came at me with knives trying to get in the till. I just walked away and said have at it as it wasn't worth the minimum wage to get into it with a couple of guys waving knives at me. After they ran out the store I picked up my mobile and called the police then called the store manager. The next day. The district manager meets me as I turn up for my shift the very next day. Her first words were it was very unprofessional of me to be on my phone while in work. I laughed at her and told her she could take this as my notice and walked out. I never had a problem with being held up but the sheer gall of that got me. I was already having a bad day. My transfer request was denied. And supervisors were on my A like they owned it. Nearing my lunch break, I was stopped by a customer asking about a price check me not able to do a price check said please take it up to the front they can help you there wasn't good enough the customer proceeds to berate me almost making me cry finally she says how about you just go kill yourself like what knowing that management wouldn't do anything i just left f that being abused for minimum wage not worth it I was at a company for about a year and a half as an assistant project manager. In that year and a half, I had three different bosses, the newest one being a heavy micromanager. I was getting paid about 20% below the standard salary for the position, overworked without any additional compensation, and the overall culture of the company was just flawed. My boss started note picking my work at the end of the day. I told her I had plenty of time to get it done before the end of the day, but she kept pushing and escalating. She was borderline screaming and I just cut her off and said I'm not doing this sh anymore. I quit. She yelled back well I need it in writing and I said back with the straightest face I don't have to do sh in writing. 
I quietly packed all my stuff up, said good luck to my co-workers, and left. A year later, after working a couple of other jobs, I accepted a project manager position with a competing company and make almost twice as much as I was making at the previous, and I get to post on Reddit while at work without getting yelled at. I get a job at a restaurant, first day I show up and the heat is broken in the dead of winter, it was like 35 degrees, I ask the cooks if it's always like this, and they say yes, I walked immediately. Began working at a Persian restaurant in the kitchen. I overcooked a steak slightly, the owner came back through a plate at us then a hot meat skewer before storming off to his office, I dropped my apron grabbed my bag and told him I was leaving, his response was okay at the end of the night you can go, my response was clearly you don't understand, I'm leaving right now, here's my parking pass, I'll expect my check in the mail. I watched a dude cut his hand off from the wrist up on a faulty saw machine and they only stopped working long enough to clean the blood up something didn't sit right with me about that I walked out. I worked at a sushi restaurant and we had secret menu items that no one went over with me. The owner was sitting with a guest, I guess they were friends, and he ordered one of the secret menu items and I said I'm sorry we don't have that and she immediately stands up and started to scream at me and called me a refing idiot and then snapped her fingers saying BES calling the other servers over. At this point I was taking my apron off and grabbing my keys to walk the hell out of there. Asked for a raise and was told okay. Next morning, Friday, I was told by the same person who agreed with the raise that I should put a few more years in and then we'll talk again. Locked my toolbox at the end of the day and called a tow truck to pick it up. Shop manager was shocked that next Monday to find a empty spot where my tools were and couldn't understand why I left. My grandfather, who I considered like a father, passed away after a long stay in hospital. We were closer than he was with his own kids, and our bond was quite special. I spoke to my manager about getting the day of his funeral off, since I was organizing part of the arrangements, and having a day or two of bereavement leave, and he agreed. The day of the funeral finally comes and the staff start calling me, leaving me messages asking why I'm not at my shift, and telling me, while I'm in a suit hosting family members at the funeral home that I have to find someone to replace me or face repercussions. Needless to say, I told them to figure it out, and never looked back. The boss wanted my team to work extra shifts without weekends to finish a project next milestone, so we can show the client that we are capable of finishing before the due date. We worked 14 hours daily for 4 weeks with no weekends, and the last 2 days we worked for 36 hours straight with no break since the due date was a day to one way. Everyone was effed and on the edge, no smiles no small talks nothing, and we don't get paid overtime. After finishing the milestone he thanked us and called us for a meeting saying we have to continue working like this for an unknown period until they hire new staff members. I refused with another colleague and said we will work for what we get paid for which is 9 hours per day 5 days a week. He didn't take us seriously but we didn't give a f at that moment. We worked the next two weeks accordingly. He called us and said that he was extremely disappointed and that we don't value the company. I walked out collected my stuff face my resignation letter to the HR and said bye. Law. I had an inside hint from HR that there was about to be mass layoffs and my name was on the list. I scheduled my week long vacation and returning the day before layoffs were presumed to have happened. My boss reamed me out for daring to take a vacation. She said I would never advance in the company if I chose such a formative time and a project to take a vacation. She told me I would never be an executive producer if I went on a vacation before project launch, even though I wouldn't be able to touch it for the week I was away anyways, and that I would always be known in the television industry as lazy. I chilled, took my vacation and returned. She was mad and said that she was upset with me for having left and made her take care of my project for me chewed me out in front of the entire company in the conference room. I chilled and was like aren't you laying off a bunch of us tomorrow? I'm just waiting for you to fire me so I can collect unemployment. Entire room literally starts panicking and management tries to understand how the F I knew about layoffs. It was my one true Regina George causing chaos moment in my life. Worked for a restaurant pub, the owner would come in with his buddies for hours at a time, a lot of times forcing the bartender to stay way past close serving them, obviously was told not to charge anything because it's the owner's party, after hours of drinks on the house, no tip, 
not even from the owner. This started to happen frequently. Usually we'd put up with it if they leave or be done before close. Then we started hearing that the kitchen staff hadn't been paid in a month. Bartenders were being paid because we made like $4 an hour. But the kitchen wasn't a tipped kitchen and made a decent wage. Turns out the owner was a total drunk f with which should have been obvious and buried himself in debt. A week later we were told our checks weren't there on the day they were supposed to be. Then two days later still no checks. I told them if my check wasn't there tomorrow, I won't come in for my shift. They said it came. I got there. And they said well what I meant was it's actually on the way. I talked to the. And I walked out. I later found out no checks were ever issued there again. They tried to pay some people cash but it fell apart very soon after. Being tripped over carrying plates. I was 18. On my lunch, a drunk manager came in the break room, asked me a bunch on invasive personal questions, and when I was curt and evasive, she exited the room, closed the door, and announced to the office, what a b, gathered my stuff and walked out. An assistant manager followed me out and tried to block my car from pulling out of the parking lot. I pulled around him and left. Heard later that the story going around the office was that I almost ran him down in the parking lot. Not even close. I was asked to lie to parents and cover up a kid failing. In elementary school. By support staff. When I confronted the principal about it. He said that she was just doing her job and I was not a team player for not doing so. So I explained the situation. Same response. I should have helped in covering it up. As soon as kids went home. I started emptying my desk. Nothing dramatic. After working my A off during the pandemic and promised an additional bonus, I received a low performance review conveniently timed a day before my bonus was to be paid. The low performance feedback cancelled my bonus. Given all the other bullsh I was putting up with, I broke and quit. I had a nice month off and my new job pays significantly more. Never work for people that don't appreciate you. There are always others that will. I was a bouncer at a bar and I had to clean a football sized wad of toilet paper and shout of a toilet. Upper manager bullied a co-worker until he killed himself. Then the manager turned his attention on me, yelling at me in front of subordinates, yelling at me over the radio, sabotaging my workload and projects. I simply said f no dude. I don't care who you are or how much money I'm making. I'm not accepting that level of abuse. I walked out and called the district manager told him I left my credentials in his office and won't be back. When I had my exit interview I was very honest and was offered a lateral promotion to a sister company. But the taste is my mouth was simply too sour. I was already there 3 hours past the time my shift was supposed to end along with everyone else who was on my shift. We were all very PO'd. I get that you often have to stay after when you work in food service. But everyone from the next shift was already there and there was zero reason for us to be there for 3 extra hours. Finally someone asked to go home and the manager started screaming in the middle of the restaurant floor that. Just because your shift is supposed to end at 10 doesn't mean you get to leave then. I tell you when you get to leave, you are all just numbers on a spreadsheet to us. We can replace you in a heartbeat if you don't want to be here. So, I dropped all the money on the table in front of her and said replace me then. F you. Found out later that they lost damn near half their staff that night because most others followed my lead after. There was a huge football game the next day right across the street from the place and they got to deal with that with no servers. I went to the game and had the time of my life lol. It was a ref and I hop. I used to cut grass in a cemetery. I used to push lawn mower and had to lift it up onto the elevated graves. And then back down and onto the next one. Over and over and over. Minimum wage was $4.25 an hour. After an hour of cutting grass in the August heat, I sit down for my break, and this guy named Leroy asks, was that worth $4.25 to you? I quit the next day. Thanks Leroy.